All right, we're finally out of the lands of South America. We're finally in the lands of Europe. No, we're in Africa. Technically, it's part of Africa. That's why I'm actually playing in Spain currently because of Spanish Morocco. Uh, next station should be Portugal, though. That's fun, I guess. So that's fun, I guess. Now, uh, we are surrounded by, I uh, don't know if you can see this, by a big blue blob. The big blue blob is called Striking Land, and just so what I'm doing currently, I'm just kind of striking because I've refused to post a video for, for four days. And look, we're being surrounded by a big blue blob called Striking Land, or in other words, France. Anyways, we are surrounded by French everywhere. Those dirty French pigs. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, France, I can't call you pig. But technically, because we sleep four naps a day. But I do have a plan for how this thing could uh, go. We go and declare war in Italy, called France, and Italy starts with seven divisions in Venice and. and uh, blah, blah. France starts with nine divisions in France. Uh, easy win, two divisions left. Uh, the pro Hopefully, the. Basically, the French will deal with it. They, will, they lost a significant amount of troops, but hopefully, they will deal with it. And fun fact, Spain actually has an actual focus. It's just extremely broken. Extremely, extremely broken. My original plan for defeating the French was declaring one Britain and then getting the French to deal with it. Sure, the French may or may not have, may or may not could defeat the British in Britain, but the French could not defeat the British in Africa or hell anywhere else. I'm mean, just look at it. The French Empire only extends from Indochina to Guyana. I'm just saying that. I'm saying that's not very big, but actually. The fact that you actually managed to own the language Djibouti is impressive. If I own Djibouti, I will start a pirate pirate business and then steal and steal everyone's and steal everyone's booty. And then after stealing everyone's booty, I'll put the booty inside your booty and then I call it my booty. So the only thing that we need to hope for is that the Italians will enjoy the access, the French will enjoy the Allies, and the Port the Portuguese don't join the Spanish in their front. I was close. I was very close. The Chinese in their front. Uh, okay, I got it wrong. It was not the Chinese in their front that they joined. It was the East Asian Coast Prosperity Spear. Now, my question is that is anyone else near me uh, in the Chinese in their front? Thankfully, no. But apparently, Peru is in the Chinese in their front. So, uh, uh, not Chinese in their front. The East Asian Coast Prosperity Spear. So, uh, I guess I'm fine. If it's in Portugal, that is. Uh, I'm pretty sure the League of Nations have nothing to say about this. Just, just a fight invasion. It's totally just a fight invasion of Portugal. I wish I don't have enough. I wish I don't have enough resources for. I don't know why, but there's just like a line of South American countries that want to join the East Asian Coast Prosperity Spear. Peru inside there. Um, I guess that makes some sense since they're in the, since they're fascist. But um, Bolivia, Bolivia. A nation that I thought I, will, I can now I can just look away for the rest of my life and never look at this, never look, never need to look at the Bolivian nation ever again or hell even talk about it. But now I am talking about Bolivia and the fact that, that and the fact that they are they are in the Chinese they are Chinese in the front. And if the East Asian Coastal Parity Spear is doing so great, sorry, not the Chinese in the front. Uh, how's the access doing? Not very good, I see. All right, with that business done. Goodbye, hopefully not goodbye for me, but goodbye for you. And get it here, France, my great ally. And I totally won't accept you. Don't ask me why I have a war going against you. Have fun inside the horrific land that is Italia. Back in today's natural documentary, we here see the tribal dispute against with the French nation and the Italian nation having a dispute on their border. The dispute is about who has the better food. Is it garlic bread or is it pasta? Where's the French military? Italian military, the most incompetent military, have taken out the French military. Okay, there you go. There goes Venice. Um, oh no. Uh, there's gonna be like another game of those musical, musical chairs again. Yep, fall of France and Francy Pansy is gone. Okay, Francy Pansy is gone. Alright, my great Swiss friends. Come in here and uh, come here in here with the front and oh my oh funny number funny number goodbye funny number so I'm sorry funny number but now funny number is now long is now is now no longer funny number some may question how is France still alive but I have better questions like how is the Italian how is the Italian doing such competently oh wait I got it 
they didn't go to war with Ethiopia. As the French get completely destroyed by the Italians, I think it's a great time to um do this. Sorry, France. But I just insult the injury. And the French shouldn't last very long. Yep, for for Mauritania. And soon it'll be for the entire French nation. Oh okay. I see why no one wanted Mauritania. Well, there goes Rome and here comes the Spanish to reclaim their rightful claim on Rome. What series of events managed to get this happening? I know I'm in I am this world's France because I'm I kinda um bang, shot them. Kinda shot them, they're still alive. They're somehow still alive. But what series of events made Belgium take Britain? But with taking of so many nations, we have expanded our production so much that we can finally make the Spanish tank program. Alright, and there goes Belgium. Belgium, Belgium, Belgium now stays in hell where it belongs. And suddenly, oh no. Uh, I don't have an army. I mean, they have an army, but my army's training. Four more days. And voila! There we go. We now have, we now have troops, and my troops are now ready to fight this great holy war against Liberians. Well, speaking of empire... Two seconds. <laughs> I'm actually going to check who are they in the faction with. Yemen, Persia... Okay, I'm, I, okay, I'm pretty safe. Uh... I just got a pop up saying uh, Greece is at war with me. Excuse me, guy? What are you some I thought you were Italy. I thought you were Italy. And voila! Angola snatched. And looks like they're a partition of Yugoslavia. The best thing about this is that the Yugoslavia is in a war with the Soviet Union. I wonder how much territory I get from this great this great war against the Greeks. I wonder. It's probably a minus three or something. What? Uh, no. No, I demand that you, I demand the government's recountment. That territory does not belong to the Soviet Union. Alright, there we go. Our legacy restored, I guess. The next step, losing Venice to the Greeks. And there comes East Africa and Madagascar back into the Spanish throne. Or maybe you're just Spanish. Well, goodbye, Yugoslavia. I might ask the viewer, would I um, go and defeat the Soviet Union? Answer is no, because, um, again, I don't want to have the same fate as last video. And the, the second reason, I need to go, I need to go dump. Well, despite Venice being taken over by the Yugoslavians, we have set a mark on this world, and I will set a mark on my toilet.